530, a local man admits to shining a laser into the cockpit of a plane. We first reported on Joseph Aquino's arrest last year, and now we've learned the 31-year-old pleaded guilty in court today. And we've discovered this incident is part of a troubling trend. Eyewitness News reporter Marilyn Shara joins us now with the details. A Warwick man arrested back in September was in federal court today to plead guilty to lasering a commercial flight on approach to Green Airport. The laser strike temporarily blinded the captain. And as we've uncovered, lasering is a serious and growing threat to airline safety, including here in Rhode Island. Joseph Aquino's guilty plea to a federal charge of willfully interfering with the safe operation of an aircraft and endangering the safety of the 23 passengers and three crew members comes as the FAA tries to alert the public to the increasing threat of laser pointers. According to the FAA, laser pointers can reach altitudes of 30,000 feet and cause extremely serious situations. Eyewitness News did a little digging, and we've learned these incidents are on the rise at our local airports. The number of laser pointer incidents at TF Green have gone up from 1 in 2008 to 10 in 2009 and 11 incidents just last year. Compare those figures to Logan Airport, which has also seen a steady increase in laser incidents from 6 in 2008 to 13 in 2009 and 15 in 2010. We're told the most recent incident at TF Green was New Year's Eve when a Boeing 737 reported a green laser at 4,000 feet illuminating the flight deck. No injuries were reported. The lowest flying plane to be targeted at Green last year, according to FAA reports, was a turboprop commuter jet on May 24th, which reported a green laser hit at 1,100 feet, and again, no injuries reported. Officials discovered Aquino after police were contacted about the same time by a boater at Oakland Beach area who said he and his crew were also targeted by a green laser. Aquino is scheduled to be sentenced in April and faces a maximum 20-year sentence and a $250,000 fine. Marilyn Shera, Eyewitness News.